Uh, sorry, so Fried Rice is just the he's Soul Pikachu, Soul Pikachu, Soul Pikachu, Soul Pikachu, Pikachu versus Corin. I don't even know how that match would really play out because there's so few Corin players, and I don't really even know how that would work. Like, of course, Pikachu basically has a plus on almost every character in the game, but yeah. because of that, a lot of people know how to fight Pikachu. It is, a, it is an exceptional tweet that Fried Rice did make before coming into this bracket of uh, looking at the seedings and then shaking his hands and going, ooh, so many good matchups. And we'll have to see how the good matchups come into play right now. We are starting okay, our so first match, and I forget, are we watching the Twitch stream to commentate or are we watching the Discord stream? The Twitch stream is probably better because it is more than our commentary will be more in time gotcha. because yeah. not everybody can see the Discord, right? Yeah. <laughs> Discord's on time now? It... We can jump between. It's close enough. Either way, either way. Either okay, way. yeah. I'll start Speaking... on Discord. Uh, if if it's too early, chat. Let us know, and we'll switch. But uh, right now the match is just uh, getting started in the first thirty seconds. Both players, not too many combos on the side of Fried Rice. It is one of the things he is exceptionally known for is the the Pikachu combos he's been able to lab out. Um, so we'll have bear, to see bear, if he's a few more against Elden right now. Um, but well, yeah, we're just playing neutral at the moment. So yeah, speaking of kind of uncommon matchups, there's a uh, Rosalina and Luma, which there are some of them, but there aren't very many high level Rosalina and Lumas, I will say, just because it's a lot. I think it was Mudace that said this is one of those characters where it's just not worth it. The character's so good, but there's so much effort to get wins that it's an almost character that's not worth putting effort into unless you just love the character. It's uh, one of the only Australian players who I know to have picked up Rosalina Lima was Ben Gold, actually, after realizing the K rule couldn't quite make it internationally. So, Fried definitely missing a bit of uh, practice in terms of in person tournaments, you'd think, but mm. is also quite the Wi Fi demon. Hasn't been playing in too many Wi Fi brackets since making it, uh, making debuts uh, in in person tournaments, uh, but definitely has matchup experience in all types of, of in all types of matchups. So. Uh, we'll have to see if that familiarity comes in, especially in terms of edge guarding Rosalina. That's something I want to start seeing from Fred. Well, with Pikachu, I mean, I can't even think of how um, you would go to edge guard Rosalina just because she can mix it up with her grip so well. Well, I mean, that's kind of Pikachu's go-to, right? Yeah. And that is um, what Fried Rice has been using quite a lot of in this matchup is just back air. Okay, there's a forward air. And trying to chase him off the side of the stage. The first stock taken, I wanted to point out, the DI did look a little bit questionable. Very but, suspicious. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a little sus on the DI. But either way, mm. they are... Um, I'm sorry, if Elden is able to get this stock off, then it'll be a close to even game. But Fried Rice yeah. just keeps... Okay, really good up smash, calling out yeah, just they're, they're the, the up smash. Uh, uh, the thunder, just, just calling out the light thunder camping, lightning camping. I don't know what you mm. thunder bolt camping, but yeah, it is a renowned skill set for a lot of Australian Pikachu's to be able to do the do this camping style, just chucking out the T jolts, uh, trying to pressure your opponent into doing something. And I mean, honestly, not too bad an option in this matchup. Um, you'll see a lot of the T jolts being tanked essentially by Luma on the side of Elodin, which is excellent to have it placed in front of you. But eventually, you know, Luma can only take so much. Can only yeah. take so much pain before it's going to disappear, and then that is Fried's time uh, to come in and start getting hits of his own. But we are seeing the comeback right now, actually. Uh, Elodin has been able to bring this one back in terms of percent. Obviously, it's still... Percentages aren't even, but Pikachu's light as hell. So we'll have yeah. to see if the, any more of these up smashes are able to connect, or even that Nair into up air, if we can get one. Uh... Ah. But it's getting close. This personal, close if this percent, if Elden's able to get an up air confirmed, that could probably be the stock. Because mm -hmm. that is one of, same as in Smash 4, that is one of Rosa's big confirms is something into. The... <gasps> there it is again, man. These Luma. up smashes. But, yeah, because the, the old slide of hand or slide of Luma, you could say. Yeah, look at. Mm. Uh, look at Rosalina, I'm over here, and up smash. And that is not going to be it. Good DI on that one. Is he able to get back from the stage? Yes, he is. So back up and back off the other side. That's the way to go. But we are connecting with these uppers, man. Fried, uh, struggling a little to find this stock at the moment. Because, I mean, we want to try and connect something with these T-Jolts in. And we're throwing a lot of safe aerials. Uh, but we're not connecting with any of them. Because we are playing safe. We might have to pick... Uh, either a confirm or risky option to take this one, but Luma is just being such an annoyance right now. Elden is very particular with how they're placing Luma right now, just using the body block. And ooh, getting that string there, getting to the dash attack. We're building up a sense, man. It's starting to get scary. All right. Able to get a dash attack yeah, on Luma there, killing her off. I don't really know how much, to be honest. Oh, yeah, that up there is absolutely going to take it at 180% after mm -hmm. the hit, but. 
So yeah, I mean, it's 170 or it's a 70% deficit, but Pikachu can put on a lot of damage really fast, but Pikachu can also die really quickly, especially to some of um, Luma's or Rosalina, better yet, stronger mm. attacks. Here's something I'm seeing at the moment with, I mean, Fried doing so. Oh, excellent. Oh, that was so that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> but Fried's trying to pull off a lot of these Pikachu combos that he's very well known for, like the Nair loops and everything else that he's able to keep the drag down and keep you in these, keep you in these like infinite combos. But Elden is able to use Luma to hit Fried out of it. And I mean, the up smash is going to hit him straight out of the game, man. That's game one to Elden. But yeah, Luma, Luma is doing a, a very good job of blocking a lot of what Fried's trying to do in these matches, whether it be mm -hmm. blocking the T-Jolts or blocking the combos. Uh, you know, at Luma MVP, but I mean, Rosa clutched it out with the up smash at the end there. So, you know, kudos to her as well. I mean, that is kind of the name of the game, though. When when it, you're playing against Rosalina and Luma, Luma's kind of the MVP most of the time. When you're playing against Diddy, Banana is MVP most of the time. That is just when you're playing against Rob, um, Top is the MVP most of the time. So when you have these really, really disjoint, like, I don't even know if you could call it a disjoint, like a projectile disjointed, <laughs> separate a separate being kind yeah, of character separate combined yeah, a separate entity kind of character those that the separate entity tends to be a big help and tends to be the mvp in a lot of the matches and elden made that very very clear with getting almost every kill if not the assist from some kind of luma combo mm. so that was just really well played towards the end i'm um, fried rice started off really really strong but towards the end yeah it just seemed like he didn't really know who to attack he was like okay i'm gonna try and kill luma but then when he tried to kill luma rosalina would come in and then when he would try to get rosalina luma would come in and then it was just he seemed a little bit lost towards the end and seemed to start getting desperate and maybe that's when eldon took advantage and was able to get the kill but hopefully we went to a little bit bigger stage keep a little bit more distance between him and the star maybe he's able to do a little bit more no, desperation definitely is a word for it when it comes to some of the plays that we can see from uh, many Australians, actually. Uh, getting getting kill confirms is obviously something that is really a struggle, especially when you're up against a character like Rosalind Luma. So good at boxing you out, so good at keeping that distance. So connecting anything or throwing out any safe aerial, you, you, it's, it's not always going to work because your opponent is playing it safer than you right now. And we're going straight in with that quick attack trying to put on this aggression let's see if we can get some platform shenanigans with these pikachu up airs and i mean uh, fried rice is doing an excellent job it's just sharking eldon right now rosalina could not get down for the longest time Ooh. to be honest what i both doing really well the percents are really even for the most part but like you said before pikachu is extremely light so there's that that can come into play as well honestly i want to see fried rice play more campy just mm. sit back sit back and just shoot some thunder jolts and then just say okay you come to me and the thunder jolt will knock luma back and maybe make luma even weak enough to where she disappears and i want to see him it's lame gameplay but it's kind of necessary in this matchup it seems hey and look at that as soon as you shall uh, receive my good sir <laughs> the <laughs> jolt comes out makes luma disappear and then instantly we get the kill uh, and that's all you have to do right now and going very deep oh, try to see if we can get an as well but just missing it okay that was really really good reaction up smash coming in from eldon on that is because he knew he was gonna um up b what's that what's that quick attack i don't remember yeah, what yeah, that yeah. Was. yeah quick attack back onto the stage and then yeah he had the up uh up attack already or up attack the up smash already <laughs> buffered to get him off the side the up attack the up smash yeah i mean it's a strong up attack at that man i mean when you have two <laughs> characters in, in joint that both do it at the same time uh you're gonna be catching rolls left and right so once again, the Sharking's coming out. This Pikachu up air, man. Like, for, for as small as a character as this Pikachu is, that tail will be kind of big. And the upper go crazy, but we're jabbing well, that was... while in the shield. <laughs> Haven't seen that one in a whole minute. God damn. Yeah, but, but on that second, second stock, uh, Fried Rice basically kept, kept Elden in the air all, the whole time and got almost 90% off him off of just keeping him, not letting him able to land. And Rosa being floaty, it wasn't really a big help to her. No, no, it's definitely one getting of the things that Rosalind is getting Luma back to gone, stage, so and now it the is. <laughs> and ah, the SD didn't make it to the end. Kind of an SD, it was a forced SD. That was a pressure SD. Absolutely, if you went any higher, I mean, Pikachu was right there waiting for you, so had to try and get that low angle, but the angle was too low, and here we have Fried trying to cook up a zero There's to death, but not able to get the reset on the platform. Coming back in. Okay, again with the quick attack, just kind of catch him off guard. This, I mean, 
I love seeing players go in, but Fried Rice, he keeps going in and keeps going in, and then he keeps fading back, doing Thunder Jolts. He's playing this game. The last match was he kind of got overwhelmed in the end, but he is playing this so optimally. And this could, the next combo could absolutely spell death. That's a dash attack, not going to do it at this lower percent. And platform coming in clutch. Shout out Mickey Leo. In that. <laughs> The platform's going to come in clutch at some point, man. And I mean, something we could we could also consider about these two players. This is their first match of the day, and I mean, oh, <laughs> their first competitive That's match of the day. So maybe we need to warm up a little. Maybe remember DI. Uh, you know, Town and City. You can DI up because that that uh, that top blast zone is pretty high. But I mean, we're going off to the side there just for my Pikachu dash attack, a very notorious kill move. So yeah, uh, we'll have to see if this if this DI could just stop being a little weird. It's yeah, very I mean, weird. I mean, yeah, it's it's the time zones, man. It's the time zone. It's got his mm. DI messed up. Gonna give many jet lag DI. Yeah, the jet the jet lag DI, the true combo. But um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean overall, that was just really good adaptation from Fried Rice. He, I don't want to say he got rocked the first game, but he got very very, he got beat very convincingly. He lost yeah the within that last stock especially. Yeah, mm -hmm. the last stock he was just kind of steamrolled, and then that next one he came back and kind of hit the Uno reverse card and just kind of had Elden's number that entire match or that entire game better yet. Yeah, absolutely. We started playing more safe. We started throwing out T jolts and we were just playing that good old neutral that we that Pikachu can be known for. So, oh, oh. and instantly okay. we're back to just being aggressive and Elden is capitalizing. Oh, okay. So now he's keeping fried rice in the air and okay. He's, he keeps trying to go in and the shield pressure is working. Okay. It's working. Good, good, good. Now is he able to yeah. thunder? No, he's not. Okay. By the way, this is a really cool custom with stage. Eventually, man. <laughs> we gotta tech those, man. We gotta tech those. But oh, I think I think he saved him. Because from no. below, I don't know if he was gonna make that. If Elden was gonna make that back, he yeah, may have made having back to hit that really angle would be pretty stage. tricky with Rosa. Mm. Yeah, but go going off to the side like that made it a very very easy recovery. So I mean, it it happens. I do like the option there to go high, just completely uh, avoiding a ledge situation in general. And no, no, we weren't able to lock oh, him in with his jobs up. there at the ledge. <laughs> Unfortunate, but I mean, it's it's Fried's game right now to take, or Fried's stock right now with Luma disappeared and the pressure on. But I mean, look at Elden. We're putting in a lot of pressure right now with these dash attacks and coming down aggressively out of the air. It's what you have to do to stop this Pikachu from sharping you. And it's, oh, that dash attack almost killed. I don't know if that was DI or just Pikachu dash attack being stupid. Probably both. But, okay, the up air is definitely not going to kill, so, or that wasn't even Ooh. up air, that was down air. Okay, good stuff. Gets in with another, the dash attack is absolutely the MVP on the fried rice side of things for this for this uh, matchup. No, Fred is a is is a is a dash attack enjoyer. Uh, as has been seen in many of his other tournament sets. It's a strong move. It's a great burst option, and I mean, it's surprisingly not punished too often. Um, so it's really just about building up your percentages with the combos that we know, and not getting hit with these off smash man every time. Elden just there with it, ready. Yeah, I don't know if jumping in between Rosa. Rosalina and Luma is always is normally a very good idea. So that's kind of what tends to happen when you jump in between them. You're going to be attacked by one of them. Mm -hmm. and by that one, and on that time it was Rosalina coming in with the with the up attack, and yeah, took the stock with that one. Absolutely. Something I'm seeing more and more between these interactions between Pikachu and Luma. Yeah, good thing the Luma's gone right now. But I I I I'm liking the dash attack on Fred more and more and more because it's a move that if you just hit into rosalina and luma with it it hits them both like it sends yes. both up so even if you don't connect the dash attack on rosa luma's still gonna like go out of the sky for a little bit give you a chance to have your hands on rosa for the the, the few seconds before luma comes back and swats you away again uh using the aggressive quick attacks as well trying to get the platform resets but no i'm not able to get the grab for that combo yeah luma luma knocked him out of it or mm -hmm. it out of it or yet pikachu would i don't know is pikachu a boy i don't know the lore uh, depends on the tail. Uh, right okay. now, Fried does use the female skin, so it's the heart tail. Um, we in there. So, yeah, it's, it's a female skin now. Okay. Knocked her out. Oh, wait, is it heart tail? No, it is not heart tail. Never mind. That's a boy. <laughs> That's a man, Pikachu. <laughs> That's a man and up throw? <laughs> oh! oh that, okay, that is a confirm if I've ever seen one. Mm. And he has a very, very good lead at this. It's 60, It's 80% now, so, I mean, can be taken out pretty, pretty quickly due to Pikachu's weight. But if he's able to get uh, one of the... Okay, Yikes. never mind. 
Okay, so now smash kind of strong. <laughs> it is an even game that down at, that down attack kind of strong. So yeah, man, it's been something I see a lot from Rosa playing is like more, especially more recently, man. The Rosas are starting to figure out. Oh, if I just down smash, I hit on both sides twice. It's really strong. It does a lot of damage and it has a lot of knockback. What if I just use this uh, and and it use it? They shall. And I mean, taking stocks left and right with this move. Oh, Fried Rice trying to get these up air confirms to just carry Elden off the stage. But I like to think that the floatiness of Rosa kind of prevents prevented that combo from happening right there. I think you're exactly right. Uh-oh, oh. oh. Luma Ooh. is gone, oh, ah, and Luma's back. Okay, I was gonna say, if you're gonna try and confirm and do anything risky, now, now may be the chance, but the star is back. A new yeah. star was born. So, okay, good parry. I mean, it didn't lead to anything, but either way, it kind of sends a message of, okay, I can block your hits in two ways. So he just, good, Thunder Jolts, Thunder Jolts. Make the Luma go away, then go for a confirm. Exactly. Or get up here. Just how you got to play it, but uh, Elden's kind of catching on to where Fried is trying to go with these quick attacks, and uh, there the dash attack getting punished. Almost... Another up smash. No, oh. there it is. These and the pop off. And the pop off. Very good. Very good. What a clutch comeback from Elden. Right that was there. a really good comeback. That looked like Fried Rice's game until that second stock flub at sixty percent. But it is what <laughs> it, is. it happens to the best of us. It happens to the best of us. Exactly. I do, I mean. But when coming down, I mean, I realize Rosa has a lot of good anti-air tools, but I don't know if it's stubbornness or if it's just wanting to challenge, but he keeps coming down on top of Rosalina with an attack. And I want him yeah. to stop that. Reset neutral. It's okay. You're not running out of time. You have time to reset and kind of go and do a different thing. But he keeps... And I understand that's what I do every time I play Smash. I'm like, uh, there's, no, there's no reset. We go until we die kind of thing. But in a high stakes game like this, you, especially for top 24, it is winner side, so you do get another chance. But I want him to reset neutral, play a little bit more safe and stop trying to go ham the whole time. Absolutely, man. It's uh, The pressure's on right now because you are on your uh, winner side life. If you want to be making that top eight, you might as well do it here, because otherwise you're going to have to fight the, the all the sharks that we have down in the loser's bracket. But, I mean, Fried Rice still put in the effort. We've gotten that up tilt there. Just able to run in, really. I mean, it's it's something we haven't seen too much from the from P the Pikachu side of things, because, I mean, the hitbox, the hurt box, should I say, is so small. But the way Fried is usually able to sneak in on Elgin is, so is quite good. good. Not at the moment. <laughs> down smash kind of good. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, and you're definitely making that back. Luma's not going to be able to do anything. Good mm -hmm. kicker away, stupid star. Good stuff. Okay, yeah. oh, a few more. Th okay, but the next one's definitely going to kill. Another Luma up smash. That is definitely going to send Pikachu into the stars from the mm. star. But we notice Luma right now. Luma is a sweating right now. Very close to being sent off of the stage themselves. There it is. One more dash attack should do it. No, okay. The Luma disappears, uh, but so does Fried. Very too distracted trying to get rid of the star right there that uh, Elden yeah. is able to capitalize and once again get that classic, classic up smash. Yeah, Elden said, I'll take that trade deal. You get rid of Luma and I get rid of your stock. Absolutely, man. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> that was a really <laughs> good, like, Luma. What was that? Side tilt? What was that? Forward tilt? I, 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 I've got to be honest, I wasn't watching too far. It looked One like, of the tilts. The tilts be kind of good. Yeah, it, it looked like Luma was sep separated from Rosa and then forward tilted into a grab from Rosa. It was really sick. That looked like something DeBuzz would do. That was dope. No, anyway, definitely got the combos on lock right now. And I mean, all of the all the fun little Rosa tricks coming out, able to pilot Luma exceptionally well. And I mean, we've been talking about how good uh, Pikachu is at, shark <coughs> at sharking Rosalia and Luma. What I've been seeing more and more increasingly is how good Elden is at sharking fried rice. Yes. That is absolutely true, whether it be with an up air or an up smash. Those up attacks be hitting. Mm -hmm. And that is how the last game was lost on the side of <laughs> Do we just try and grab Luma? <laughs> I, he's like, I, I just need to grab something at this point. That's desperation. But, exactly. okay, but he gets the stock, and I will say this is exactly how the last game was that Fried Rice lost, except he was up a stock at that point. And now he is not... Okay, getting some combos going. That's not going to be death. But getting some good damage. That's 50%. 51%. And he just keeps hitting Luma. <gasps> oh. This is what Fryder hey. needs right now, man. These offstage hey. plays. It's something he's God. known for. You need to carry her off. Man, okay, okay, good stuff. Waited, waited, waited. See where you... Watched and saw where she was going to go. And then followed in. And there's another up smash. Stop mm. pressuring her shield on platforms. Because you're getting up smashed every time. 
Yeah, they've seen a lot of this pressure where coming in either with an aerials or these multi kits, just really trying to get the pokes happening, really trying to get something started up. But you either have Rosa or you have Luma there waiting to up smash you at any point. So gonna be very careful with how he chooses to land on this character right now. We make it back to the ledge, but we're kind of stuck. We can't roll in and we can't yeah. neutral get up because everything's covered right now. Yep. Alrighty. Okay, good up to, or good uh, up air, good up air, very good stuff. Mm. It's. He he's pushing himself into the corner. That is not going to be the stock, is it? Long that percent though. The left. That was strange. Huh. <laughs> what a okay, direction that is going to be the stock. I will say, but that forward that is throw absolutely going to take. Okay, it. yeah, forward forward throw was absolutely going to kill with that percent. So this is Elden's game to lose at this point. Absolutely, man. Fred's on the winner's side stock. If we're going to keep this run going, we got to keep it going right here, right now. But if we can get an edge guard on Elden, it would be very helpful. But no, not able to connect it. Uh, uh, we just got to kill on stage right now, and now's not the time to do it either because Luma's back in this dash attack. attack. Oh, taking it. You learned how to DI. DI. We in there. <laughs> Adaptation. We overcome uh, the DI the is out. Front, tried for the ledge front back air, but didn't work because he DI'd down. Really good stuff on Elden. But that DI, that back air absolutely would have killed, and that would have put him in a really good position. Oh, I think he wanted to go not for up tilt right there okay but the forward air is going to take it regardless yeah. and this this is absolutely doable if fried rice stops making risky decisions absolutely man it's it, it, we just need one of those classic fried combos to come out man uh which has been really hard to hit so far on elden because he's just doing everything right to get out of him uh but it's the back air that might start it up it's the nair we just want to get that grab on shield we want our hands on rosa somehow but luma's just not letting us do it Yeah, this is this is one of those matches where I don't I don't know about um, Fried's presence on Twitter, but if it was some other players, there would be a salty tweet about this character <laughs> after this match. I assume the, the unfamiliar matchup salt tweet inbound. Yep. But I mean, look at this now. Okay, we got some downtits going. We're okay. trying to reset on uh, the platform, the but we're playing pretty well. I don't think that footstool was intentional because that just basically gave him. Oh, he got up smashed. <laughs> and he's gonna go right to the platform. Get off the platform. Okay. Yeah. Okay, forward throw, forward throw, forward throw. It's not going to kill you at this point, but it puts him in a bad position. Oh, one. Again, and there it is. It's one last up smash. There's Elden. They're going to hug it out. Good stuff. I don't know if you yeah. wanted to hug it after losing the game like that, but, <laughs> but they're going to hug it out. That was the games were good. They were oh, back absolutely. and forth. Some of the games were close. Some of them were washes in favor of both characters. So that was just a really mm -hmm. um, entertaining set to watch. Um, but good stuff to fried rice. He will, he still has chance on the loser's bracket. So no problem. Absolutely. He's going to probably do some damage there. And then we have Elden moving on. Will that put him in winner's finals? I forgot to see what match that was. Uh, that will put in semis. So Elden will, be, semis. Elden will be the one to face Nao now. Uh, okay. So you've got to take out oh. that demon on your side. Uh, oh. We do it. That is one of our Australian heroes falling. Uh, unfortunately, uh, in the winner's side of things. But up next, we do have Sebastian Professional. Uh, who will be taken to the sticks 